Hey guys, rubber sight down. Just want to do a quickie update video. Um, a lot of y'all know uh, I've been uh, pretty, pretty stinking sick. Um, and uh, well, you know, I haven't been able to make too many videos. Um, feeling a lot better, getting a lot better. I'm sure, you can still hear it. Got the old sniffles and cough and everything else but uh just traded the uh crf 250l yesterday and i uh picked myself up a little toy that way uh the wife and boy can go out and enjoy a little bit of the outdoors with me um is a 2016 polaris ranger xp 570 um, yeah it is a, a little little animal a lot uh, a lot bigger than I thought the 570 would be as far as uh, power output and everything else um, they had a 900 down that uh, Polaris that I was originally going there to look at uh, but after I you know, I know what I had in my bike and whatnot, and uh, I know I just picked it up last year, but I only put 136 miles on it last year. Um, so I uh, I'd kind of mentioned it to the wife. You know, well, it'd be nice to be able to get out a little bit and take you guys with us or with me. And you know, I was thinking four wheeler, and then uh, we stopped and looked at uh, Adam the other day and. She basically, uh, she basically was the one that wanted to do it, so um, I didn't have to talk her into it at all, uh, which is awesome. You know, they uh, paid off my bike. I've got something that I'm extremely happy with now uh, versus, um, you know, so compared to my DRZ, my DRZ would eat for lunch probably in third gear. Um, but I bought that bike because it was reliable. I wanted to get back into the motor vlogging and, uh, you know, that type of deal. So, um, it wasn't a mistake. I, uh, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got to experience it. And I, uh, I just realized that I would rather be out, you know, playing in the mud, uh, trail riding with the family rather than doing wheelies and acting like a fool on an electric start fuel injected little 250. When I got a DRZ I can play with and all that stuff. Um, so like I said, uh, this is a 570. It's a 2016. It was a leftover. Um, and the 17s are actually cheaper uh, than the 16 was. Um, and I just want to kind of do a little quick uh, overview of the thing. Like I said, I've only got 8 miles on it. Um, the machine had like 0.3 when I got it of a mile. Um, and I'm going to be, I'm trying to get a little bit of mileage on it today because I got to do my first service at uh, 20 miles and, um, yeah. So I want to get that done today. That way I can go out and enjoy it and not have that hanging over my head. Um, so from what I was told with this model, um, the 570 mid-size and full-size they're, they're doing away with this chassis design completely i guess and that is uh with the profit cab as you can see it's got a nice uh channel in it for your doors and whatnot that way it could fit right in there nice and tight they're going to like a tube design and what what the uh salesman had told me and who, i don't know what players is uh idea is I guess just to make it more affordable they're going with a round roll cage all the way around it and um, the non XP it would be a non XP it would be a mid-size 570 this is what's taking this place and uh, I heard that it wasn't going to be dual wishbone all the way around um, so what that means and if that's true uh, I guess we'll see I haven't even looked at the 17s when I uh, when I seen this guy because the uh, the front end looks completely different on it. I, I like that uh, 
I know it's not a um, functioning uh, hood scoop, but I, I just it looks it looks mean from the front, you know. After you lift it up a little bit, put some meaty tires on it. It uh, it really does kind of dress it up for it being a uh, utility vehicle, you know. Uh, but she will get up and go. Uh, very surprising. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you all are enjoying your winter. And uh, hopefully tonight I'll be able to get on and do a live stream. I was going to last night, but I'm having problems with uh, some mods and other things with the game. So I uh, just taking a, taking a week break, I guess. It ended up being a week now. I think today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday, and that was the last day I made a video, so yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll be back up and uh, running tonight. Um, I do appreciate everybody's patience with that. And uh, give you a quick look inside here. The other thing that I wanted when I when I seen this is the, the gauge cluster is right in the front of the steering wheel. The new... They have them right here in the middle, and I'm not not really all about that. The other thing is it's got the uh, VersiTrack, I believe, which is uh, basically you can lock your rear end or uh, limited slip. That way when you're on your lawn or whatever, you can just um, pop it in that, and it doesn't tear the crap out of your lawn. Then you got the four-wheel drive, and then you got your... Um, your lights on, off, and then high beam. Like I said, that's really about it. She's she's pretty box stock. I did order a half windshield for it. Um, should be in here shortly. And uh, yeah. So probably probably do some update videos. I know. Uh, it's really kind of hard to find these 570s out there on the uh, the YouTube, so uh, I figure I'd make a little make a little video, uh, a little quick introduction, I guess you'd say, to the 570 um, in the last year of the Profit Cab on the 15 or 16 model. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, and uh, we will see you shortly. God bless.